do you think, Jolene? Oh, it's gorgeous. And I have your brother's costume ready for you as well. Pants, shirt, cape, sombrero, and the mask, the works. Everything except the sword. Um, shall I put it in a garment bag for you? No, nah, I just put it in here. So $45 each. The total rental is $90. Oh, Linda, please. You sold my home in one day, so these costumes are on the house, as it were. <laughs> this dress is amazing. I just wish I knew more about the period, though. What were the customs, how people lived? I think I can help. Oh. What's so special about the necklace? What the hell? Holy moly, talk about curb appeal. Uh, Miss Gordon? Miss Gordon, hi. Uh, you know me? <laughs> of course, miss. Your parents are with Judge Pomeroy. They're waiting for you in the law library. Uh, great. Thanks. Then he says, well, other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how was the play? <laughs> That's... What, too soon? They just buried poor Mr. Lincoln three weeks ago. They had to. He was dead. Mr. Lincoln was shot in the head. Let's go back to the beginning. Oh, uh, good day, Miss Gordon. I don't want to marry her, Daddy. Shut up, Chester. Uh, so what do you think of our humble home, Miss Gordon? Oh, it's pretty nice for a startup. Is it near a school? I could sell this baby in two days. It's too good to pass up. I I'm sorry, you have a question. I do. Why are you still talking? Huh? Loquaciousness is unattractive in a young lady. Curtsy, damn you! What is wrong with you? I don't want to marry her, Daddy. Shut up, Chester. I bought up all of your parents' land. They want to buy it all back. Ooh, but they just don't have any money. Fortunately, they do have something that I want. I don't want to marry her, Daddy. Shut, Shut up, up Chester. Chester! Wait, hold on. You want me, but I'm supposed to marry your son? Do you know how you let a friend wear a stiff new pair of shoes of yours before the broken in? I won't do it. What? Who are you to spurn me, Daddy? I will marry her. Missy, you shall obey your parents. Prunes are bad for you! Mr. and Mrs. Gordon, perhaps you'd care to see our garden. Chester, you have a wedding night to prepare for. Go practice with the maid. Uh, my dear, uh, why don't we have a chat? You know, I don't believe Mr. Lincoln was buried after all. Oh no, Mr. Lincoln was shot. They got him in the rotunda. I will not marry that imbecile. I shall kill your parents. Do I have to wear white? <sighs> I knew that you would be sensible. I mean, there is no point in pitting a woman's will against that of a man. <laughs> a weak, defenseless woman. <laughs> Stop! I command you. Lay down and be ravaged. Please! Screw that! I said please! <laughs> ah, I win. I always win. We'll see about that. What are you gonna do? Cram me in your pillowcase and fluff me to death? <laughs> Wait, I'm unarmed. No, you're not. It's not mine. I'm holding it for a friend. You don't have any friends. Oh, that's not very nice. On guard! No. 
really smart. You're a bully. I'm gonna go have to put some alcohol on this. You must take me away from this place, my love. My lady. How did it go, sweetie? Wait, what? Oh, did you have a good time? I have to go back. Oh, that good, huh? No, I met... I lost... Dorcas? I thought you'd never come back. I'll just put these away. Well... So... I'm Dorcas. Linda. Let's go back to the beginning. Ooh.